there are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You watching Casino is the name, and ride through Atlanta in the Porsche right now. Just came from seeing a house. And uh, yeah, that's right. I am technically in the market for another house. Technically. I technically am. Why am I in the market for a third house? This would be my house number three. And the reason that I would be in a market for a third house is because I recently found out after speaking to uh, a lender that I qualify to use my VA loan for a third house. Yes, they're gonna let me use my VA loan to buy another house. This will be three houses, all of which will still have a mortgage on them. I will be able to buy three houses with my VA loan. Now, why is that important? It's important because with a VA loan, you don't put any money down. It's hard to beat. No money down, no PMI. So typically, when you buy a house, say you buy an FHA house, buy a house with an FHA and you put down 3.5%, you have to pay PMI. PMI can be one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars a month. It just depends on how much the house costs or whatever. But you have to pay PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. And that's because you put down less than uh, less than 20%. So if you put down 20% on a home, you don't have to pay PMI. But because you put down less than 20%, you have to pay this PMI. Most people pay PMI in their mortgage if they have an FHA or even a conventional loan that they put down less than 20%. So with a VA loan, you don't have to even put a dollar down and put no money down. And you don't have to pay PMI. You don't have to pay PMI. So that is a huge advantage, right? So... I did a previous video where I talked about how I put $2,000 down for two houses because I put $1,000 earnest money down, which is not actually putting money down. $1,000 just lock in the, the, I guess the house to say that you're serious about purchasing it, but it's not actually like money down because you still have to put money down, right? So I had on one house, it was $1,000 earnest when I have two. So another th house I had to put $1,000 earnest thousand dollars earn this money down so that was two thousand dollars so i'd be able to put three thousand dollars down for earnest money because this would be another thousand dollar earnest money and then be able to purchase a third house with no additional money down that's crazy and no pmi that's crazy so uh, that is why I'm back in the market because if I was looking at FHA or conventional or something like that, uh, you know, I might have still been in the market, but now I wouldn't be in the market like I'm in the market now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the market, but I'm not planning to actually purchase anything until I complete my real estate course. I, I am, I don't know if that helped. Did that help, guys? No. I am actually in real estate school working on my real estate license. And I've been working on it for a minute. I'd be so busy, preoccupied with other stuff. I didn't complete it yet, but I gotta get on top of that, man. I gotta get on top of that because I wanna have my, my real estate license so that I can be my own agent or getting some of that commission when I purchase my third house, whenever I do that. I'm not necessarily in a rush to purchase another house, but I, you know, I'm definitely looking and I'm kind of waiting for some things because I am here in the Atlanta market and things are kind of high. But believe it or not, I'm seeing some deals popping up. Hmm? I'm seeing some deals that got me doing the bird man hand rub. You feel me? Uh, I'm seeing some pretty good stuff coming up because I'm guessing, you know, with the, the whole, um, being able to evict people and you know this COVID stuff have uh, evictions froze and and you know, foreclosures froze I think foreclosing on stuff is still like on a little hold up 
but as far as like landlords who might have been interested, let's say you a landlord and you've had to pay the mortgage on these houses for over a year and you haven't been able to collect rent. The people have just been in your house and they've been tearing it up, whatever they've been doing and you gotta, it's gonna cost you money to fix it or maybe you just had to come out of pocket all this time and pay for where somebody else is staying and you haven't been able to collect on any of the rent. You might just be tired of the real estate just tired of real estate of being a landlord all together you might just want to sell it and be done with it so you might be a motivated seller or you know you might just be a, just trying to get whatever the market is or whatever and just trying to be done with it or just don't want to have the headache but you can't even sell your house because you can't evict these people who or just in the house, you know, you can't evict them, you can't do nothing with them. So now that you can get these people out, it's gonna be a lot, lot of people selling houses, at least from my estimation. Now there was a there was a shortage for a long time of houses that people would have sold for almost nothing for dirt cheap. But now, now though, I think that you know, we still have like I think they had a an additional 60 days of, um, of no, like they, they froze the evictions, I think here in Atlanta. I could be wrong, but I think in Atlanta they froze the evictions for like another 60 days where you still can't evict anybody for like 60 days. But once that's over, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff entering the market. And I think that, you know, um, it's going to be like in the next 90 days, it's probably going to be a lot of stuff. 90 to 120 days next three to four months it's probably gonna be a lot of stuff you know that's gonna be coming out and you know i'm gonna be trying to be prepared I'm trying to be prepared for when that happens so i definitely need to get my real estate license and i definitely have my my you know like my ear to the street you know what i mean um i went and looked at this house that almost i'm gonna be honest I went to just see if this was true because it, it looked too good to be true. Let me explain. This house, this house, it's a five bedroom, five bath house. Had an office. Almost, felt, almost just shy of 5,000 square feet. Has an office. Has an office. A gym. It actually has a gym. Like it's nice. They had like the mirrors and stuff. You know, you see the line. And a gym and a finished basement. A finished basement for just over four hundred. Just over four hundred thousand. And it's just shy of five thousand square feet. This was a good deal. Okay, it was a good deal. You know, we're talking like less than $100 a square foot. And it was, the master bedroom was remodeled, had a chandelier in the bathroom. Like, it was dope. And I just wanted to go see if this was really real, you know? And it wasn't far from where I stay. So I had to go check and just look at the neighborhood and be like, now the neighborhood, even the HOA, it's only a couple hundred dollars a year. And they got a pool, they got a tennis court, it's nice. It's nice. So I just wanted to go see and that just let me know. Don't get me wrong. I would be interested in that house. I would be interested in living in that house. That house is nice. It's, it's bigger than mine. Uh, my house is like 3,000, like 3,100 square feet. This is like just shy of 5,000. So not quite doubling mine, but considerably bigger um like considerably bigger okay so over one and a half times bigger than mine over one and a half so i was definitely like man this is this is interesting and like every bath i think it's like almost every bedroom has a bathroom or something like that but you know it's, it's really nice anyway so I was looking at that and I was just thinking like, man, if this is out now in three to four months, who knows 
who knows what's gonna be out here and i'm gonna try to be ready for it anyway i definitely see value in, in owning property as far as there's so, there's just so many things you can do with property especially being a content creator or having a home business or having an online business or working from home just so many things just so many things you can do this is a different world than you know the one that maybe our parents grew up in when you know a house was mainly just for living in this is not the same world this is event spaces airbnbs all that now that's the only other part though what I don't like about HOAs is the fact that, uh, you know, you can't Airbnb, you can't, you know, for some of them, a lot of them, mainly, well, pretty much most of them, you're not supposed to Airbnb. They don't like that. So, and I understand. So I would prefer to have a house that wasn't in a, in a HOA. But, I mean, this is still, like, really nice. You find something else to do with it, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is this is nice. You know, I would be comfortable living in it. Now, I don't know why it's so cheap, but maybe it's a sign of things to come. Or maybe people are motivated sellers. You know, and then, of course, with COVID, there's a lot of people who passed. And, and uh, you know, and it's unfortunate that a lot of people passed, but there's a lot of houses that just are going to be being given to family members and things like that and they're not going to either want them maybe they're in a different state maybe they got too many houses whatever it is maybe they have to they, they're bickering so they need to divide up the property brothers and sisters not getting along aunties and uncles not getting along all of those kind of things so you know it's gonna probably just be a lot of stuff coming out and just want to tell you guys what I might have going on, what, what I've got going on. Anyway, right now you're watching Casino is the name, man. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, man. And we out of here. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. And if you wanted to know how I started my trucking business, I have an ebook called Big Shot Hot Shot Volume 1 on your trucking authority. It's a great book, five star reviews. The link will be in the description below. Go get that. Me up, Scott, me up, Scott. Me and her together, we just caught it up. Money on my mind, I can't get enough. Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef. Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street. When she first saw me, she said, Who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat. I'm the one that really did what a rap. They ain't never did it, they ain't really trapped. Say you want to be successful, but what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I caught the bus at Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.